So. Is this the biggest challenge the defense face this season? <coughs> From offensive standpoint? <laughs> I want a body this week. I don't want no mercy on this team. The Marcus Lawrence wanted to with them boys. Y'all haven't been them boys since the 90s. Who is this dude? You want to talk about a guy who's done nothing against a right tackle? You know, as more and more I think about this game, the more and more I'm confident we're smoking this team. Everything's written over for a body this week. Demarcus Lawrence opened his mouth. I don't know why players do that shit. Open their mouth when they're playing against opponents. Do, do y'all just... Come on. Let your game play. Don't talk. Unless you can back it up like a Deion Sanders. Let your play do the talking. We know Demarcus Lawrence never played against anybody when it came to Lane Johnson because he's been shutting him down since the day he's been a cowboy. The Philadelphia Eagles are the best team in this division. I'm going to simply tell you why we're going to win this game. I'm not boys for life. I don't need to call out Eagle fans. I don't need to do all that. That just shows that he's scared for real. When you're calling out people who don't pay attention to you. LB ain't responding, you clown. So sit down. You're going to be hiding this Sunday. Just like you were hiding when the Thanksgiving massacre after y'all got beat by the race. It was a massacre, but it was a massacre to y'all. When Dak didn't show he was a clutch in the playoffs, I mean, clutch in the overtime, didn't come back. I didn't see Boyce for that tweet, did nothing. He was gone, he disappeared. He says he wasn't, but he was. He disappeared like everybody else. He gonna disappear this Sunday. Or he's gonna blame the quarterback, or he's gonna make some angry video. Y'all can blame Demarcus Lawrence for this one, why we're gonna beat the shit out of him. Demarcus Lawrence opening his mouth today. It's lovely, isn't it? They don't learn, do they? Have they not learned from Amari Cooper and Dak Prescott when they said easy money, easy than Philly? Remember that game? I remember that. Cool clip. How did that go? After the game, Eagle players were mocking them because they thought it was hilarious how you walked into Philadelphia and thought you were going to win this game. Just like you're going to think you're going to win this Sunday. You think it's the same team you verse? I don't think so. And we could tell one thing. You're not worse, not better. I'm not scared of CeeDee Lamb. You're going to be more scared of Devontae and AJ Brown than I am with CeeDee Lamb. Because CeeDee Lamb has known to be dropping balls. He's the exact same stats as Todd Pinkston. Come on, man. Pop Pinkston Jr. He's never lived up to that number one height. Y'all can stop it, man. And Michael Gallup, we know Cindy Jones shut his ass down. So I'm not worried about that. Put Bradbury on him. We'll be all right. We got the two number one corners. Who do y'all got? You got Diggs? Mr. Burt Chicken himself? Every day he gets lit up by different receivers. But he gets in sessions all good. AJ Brown about to bully this dude to death. By the end of the game, people are not going to recognize Diggs. Because he's going to be so traumatized of how sorry he's going to look on film. A.J. Brown going to make him look silly this week. I had two touchdowns for A.J. Brown. But simply because I don't believe in Diggs. I don't think he can cover A.J. Brown. No one has. Diggs is, uh, Diggs is not covering A.J. I couldn't wait for that matchup. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to win this game because they can run the ball and they can throw on y'all. The Cowboys have a one-dimensional offense. That's not going to work in Philadelphia. How are you going to keep up the offense that we have when we're scoring 20 points plus in the sec into the second? We don't have to score in the second half. You don't want to know why? Because we're blowing teams out by the second half. The Cowboys barely can score 10 points against the Rams. We will at least drop 30 on them right now. The Rams are not the same team. Andrew Woodworth is not there anymore. Von Miller is in the Buffalo Bills. You know, from, how are they the same team from last year? Boys for life. 
See, but it's a feel-good story for the Cowboys because they beat the so-called Super Bowl champions. But they want to poo-poo on the Jaguars, who's been who hasn't led a running rushing attack since Miles Sanders did it. And the reason why they're losing is because they're affected by the Eagles embarrassing them. We were up down 14-0 and Jalen Hurts came back. But you're not scared of him? If Cooper rushes down 14, the game is over. He can't come back. You can put the Giants game all you want. The Giants stink. Daniel Jones, we know what he is. He's mediocre. They got some good wins. That's about to change versus the Ravens. They're losing that game. Y'all beat the Commanders. Trash. We already saw them today. Didn't they lose to the Bears? I don't know. I'm grabbing for wrong. I think they did. And yeah, the Bears are awful. We're going to end the Cowboys this Sunday. We're going to claim our number one in the division. We're going to get the home field advantage, and we're going to run. It's, Philly's going to be in the playoffs, not Dallas. Because y'all not ready for us. Y'all running around here like y'all beating some of y'all haven't beat nobody. But you keep saying we didn't beat nobody. Oh, we have. Because the same teams that you say we didn't beat are the ones that are going to beat y'all also. Like the Jags, you play them soon. They're going to beat y'all. The Lions might give you a hard time too. That might be the only offense that you'll ever probably lose to because that offense is not a no joke. And they didn't have DeAndre Swift in that game versus the Patriots, by the way. And DeAndre Swift is a better running back than Zeke Elliott. And we were able to, listen, let me be real with you. We did our job. I never seen a team that was 5-0 and get so disrespected. But only the Eagles get disrespected. If it was the Dallas Cowboys, they'd be respected like crazy. You got the media to talk about Diggs, telling Diggs, oh, you got two picks. You're going to get another two, this one. No, he's not. Because even Diggs knows what's going to happen. A.J. Brown about to bully this dude like it's no tomorrow. And Bruce Fleck can talk all the shit he wants. He knows he's taking an L. He's scared. That's why he's making so many videos about Eagles contracts. Because he knows damn well he can't talk about his thing. Because he knows he's getting his ass beat in Philadelphia on Sunday Night Football. Where everybody's watching y'all get embarrassed and and ridiculed once again. I can't wait for the Stephen A. Smith show after the game. Why he's laughing at y'all clowns. Because you do the exact same shit. Every year it's a different story with y'all. Y'all haven't beat nobody. You think, oh, we didn't play your defense? Y'all haven't played ours. You think yours, we haven't played a defense like yours? You haven't played against ours. Because our defense is way better than yours. And you're sleeping on our defense. Our defense could create turnovers and it could create a lot of mismatches for y'all. Not mismatches. uh, A lot of problems for y'all. Especially with your receivers. We know CeeDee Lamb is Mr. Drop Balls himself. See y'all Sunday. You're going to need the luck.